Today we're going to learn about patterns. Let's say we have a problem like find the next two terms in the sequence. And our sequence is 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, 29, 47. And we have to find the next two terms. So we have to use inductive reasoning in order to solve this pattern. So let's look at the first two terms of the sequence. The first two terms of the sequence are 3 and 4. Now, what is the difference between 3 and 4? It is 1. So we're going to put a 1 underneath. Now, now let's look at the second and third term. Now, what is the difference between the second and third term? It is 3. Now, for a final one, we're going to look at the third and fourth term, 7 and 11. The difference between 7 and 11 is 4. So as we can see, the pattern is not adding e to each term by a certain amount of number. It's something else. Now, if you look very closely, you can see the first and second term. There are 3 and 4. And the first and second term equal the third term. Now, if we add the second and third term, which is 4 and 7, that is equal to the fourth term, which is 11. So as you can see, the pattern is adding the two terms below to make, it to make the next term. So that is the pattern to this sequence. Now to solve the pattern, we have 29 and 47. Now in order to find the next term, we have to add 29 and 47. So 47 plus 29. It is 7 plus 9 is 16, and we carry the 1. It is 76. So our next term is 76. Now for our last term, we have to add 47 and 76. So 47 plus 76. 7 plus 6 is 13. Carry over the 1, and that is 123. So the last two terms of the sequence are 76 and 123. And the way we got that is by adding the first two terms in order to make the next term. And that is how you solve this pattern. So today we learned about patterns. Thank you for watching this video.